Hello, uh, we're going to get started on setting up a new iPad that's just been taken out of the box and we're going to get it then rolled into our MDM system and uh, going over all of the basic setup stuff that happens with brand new iPads. So when you uh, first get it out, you'll go through the normal uh, setup steps. You'll choose English, you'll choose United States. Now um, at this point you're going to choose Air Glenbard. Um, most of the devices that we have will be pre-registered with our uh, network so that this step won't uh, always come up but if it does come up it's pretty simple to get through it's just a matter of uh, putting in the students username and passwords it'll be the same login and password that they use for first class so the login will be their ID number and then their password will be whatever their password is now the uh, keep in mind with the passwords that if they change the password it will take 24 hours for it to update in other systems so if they have not changed it from the default birthday password on day one uh, if they've not logged into that system yet it will still be that default password for them I want to hit log in it'll run through a couple of quick steps and it will just confirm all of the information on the device and it will log me into the system it'll return me back to the uh, uh, network selection screen and I'll now be able to join uh, Eric Lundbard and move through the rest of the process. Be sure to enable location services. You'll then be prompted about the automatic configuration of your iPad. Click on the next box in the upper right hand corner. You'll then be asked for your username and password. Your username and password will be the same as what you use for first class. After you've entered in your account information, click on the Next button in the upper right hand corner. You'll then get to the Getting Started screen. Go ahead and click on Get Started. You'll notice fairly quickly that things will start to appear on your desktop. You should receive at least two icons, one for Glenbard 87 and one for the school that you're enrolled at. You'll also have the App Catalog. In a few more seconds, you should receive a notice to log in to uh, the iTunes store. You'll need to have your iTunes account information available. Click on sign in and then use your existing Apple ID. When you click on OK, you should start to see a number of additional applications start to download. You'll be also be presented with this notice to allow you to have books and other items installed. In a few seconds, you'll see the user agreement appear. You'll need to scroll to the bottom of the terms and conditions from Apple and press agree twice. And then hit the OK button. When we go back to the desktop of the iPad by hitting the home button, you'll already start to see several applications pushed down to your iPad automatically. These can take a few minutes to load. Typically, you'll see two or three of them uh, in the process of loading at any given time. When all of them are complete, the icons will no longer be shaded. They'll look normal and bright. You may be asked to log into your iTunes account a second time for certain applications. You might run into a situation like this where some of the applications might take longer than expected to download. You can try double tapping them to wake them up. When all the icons have gone bright, the downloads are complete. You'll want to be sure to launch the AirWatch application immediately. This will actually help speed up the loading of other apps later on. You'll want to make sure that you allow AirWatch to send you push notifications and to establish what your current location is so it can find the fastest servers available to send you content.